the geotechnical report is the tool used to communicate the site conditions and design and construction recommendations to the civil engineering design and construction personnel. Site investigations for building and infrastructure projects have the objective of providing specific information on subsurface soil, rock, and water conditions. Interpretation of the site investigation information ends in design and construction recommendations that should be presented in a project geotechnical report. The importance of preparing an adequate geotechnical report cannot be overemphasized. The information contained in this report is referred to every so often during the design stage, construction stage, and even after completion of the project specifically on resolving claims. Therefore, the report should be as clear, concise, and accurate. Both an adequate site investigation and a comprehensive geotechnical report are required to construct a safe and cost-effective project. Civil engineers need these reports to perform an adequate review of geotechnical-related features, example earthworks, and foundations. Though the geotechnical report content and format will vary by project size and type, all geotechnical reports should contain certain basic essential information such as, summary of all subsurface exploration data that includes, subsurface profile, exploration logs, laboratory or in situ test results, and groundwater information. Interpretation and analysis of the subsurface data. Specific Engineering Recommendations for Design and Construction Methodology Discussion of Conditions for Solution of Anticipated Problem And Recommended Geotechnical Special Provisions Site Investigation Information that are common to all geotechnical reports for any type of geotechnical feature are as follows, Description of the General Location and or Vicinity Map of the Investigation Summary of the scope and purpose of the investigation. Concise description of geologic setting and topography of area. List of the field explorations and laboratory tests on which the report is based. General description of subsurface soil, rock, and groundwater condition. Appendices, borehole logs, field test data, laboratory test data, pertinent photographs. A plan and subsurface profile of the investigation site must be provided. The field explorations must be located on the plan view. The explorations must be plotted and correctly numbered on the profile at their true elevation and location. The subsurface profile must contain a word description and or graphic depiction of soil and rock types. The groundwater levels and date measured must be shown on the subsurface profile. The sample types and depths must be recorded. SPT blow count, percent recovery, and RQD values must be shown. If cone penetration tests were made, the plots of cone resistance and friction ratio must be shown with depth. Laboratory soil classification tests such as natural moisture content, gradation, atterberg limits, must be performed on selected representative samples to verify field visual soil identification. And summary of laboratory test results such as shear strength, consolidation, etc., must be included. 